Use these settings in Lightroom Classic when exporting images for Instagram. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. This video is a response to a question a viewer had. Jack was wondering, what's the best file type to use when exporting raw images out of Lightroom Classic in order to upload them to Instagram? Thank you for the question, Jack. If you have any questions, be sure to add them to the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. Now, as I find myself often doing with responses, I'm gonna go way beyond just file types with this video. So, here's the settings you should use when exporting images out of Lightroom Classic with the intention of uploading them to Instagram. Now, I will say this, Instagram has done a great job at improving the quality of images. When I upload, they compress and then display my images, that process has been greatly improved. So please use these tips as a guide. All right, now let's take a look. The first thing we need to check is our image aspect ratio. And as you can see here on the Instagram website, Instagram will accept image aspect ratios of 1.91 to one up to four to five. That may be a bit confusing, so let me show you what it means. Image aspect ratio is just a comparison of the width by the height of an image. This image has an aspect ratio of four to five because there are four lengths across the width compared to five lengths vertically, so four to five. This image has an aspect ratio of 16 to nine, or 16 lengths wide by nine lengths vertically. One thing to keep in mind is that image aspect ratio is different from resolution and image size. Those are two different image measurements. This horizontal rectangle has an aspect ratio of 1.91 to one. This vertical rectangle has an aspect ratio of four to five. Now, if our image aspect ratio falls between these two rectangles, then our image will be displayed as we see it on Instagram. Now, if the image is narrower, either vertically or horizontally, than these two aspect ratios, or these two rectangles, then our image will need to be cropped. Now, let me show you how to do that. Now, our image aspect ratio can be adjusted or controlled with the crop overlay tool which can be found above the basic panel on the right side within the develop module, is this dashed line rectangle on the far left of these tool icons. Click to activate it. The first item we see is the crop frame tool. Here and next to it, we see the word aspect. If we move to the right and select original, we can now select the aspect ratio of the crop, which will be applied to our image. Now, as I mentioned, Instagram currently accepts image ratios of 1.9 to one for horizontal or landscape oriented images to four to five for vertical or portrait oriented images. Now 1.91 to one isn't an option listed in these common aspect ratios. Go down to enter custom and add 1.91 to one and select okay. Now that 1.91 by one should be added to your custom aspect ratios down here at the bottom. Now the crop overlay tool is locked into an aspect ratio of 1.91 to one, and we can move it wherever we'd like on our image. So let's move it here and then hit enter to crop. This image will display as we see it here on my screen on Instagram because it has an acceptable aspect ratio. All right, now that we have the correct aspect ratio, let's take a look at resolution, color, and file type. All right, we need to open the export dialog box. There's two ways of doing that. We can right click on an image, select export, and then export. Or we can go to the library module and then select this export button here at the bottom left corner. All right, the three drop downs we need to consider for this demonstration are file settings, image sizing, and output sharpening. Now here's the answer to Jack's original question. Use JPEG here in the image format when exporting images for Instagram. This is one of the most universally accepted file formats and what Instagram prefers. Next, let's move on to quality. Now, I've read a lot of tutorials that say you need to export images at 70 to 76% if you're gonna upload them to Instagram. And to be honest, a lot of their reasoning doesn't make any sense. I believe that if I'm going to upload an image and it's gonna be compressed by Instagram, no matter really what I do to my image, they're gonna compress it to save on space and bandwidth. So I want the highest quality image compressed as possible. So I'm gonna put this at 100% and leave it there. Now next, let's talk about color space. But first, be sure to check out this video that Carlos put out all about color spaces, what they are and how we use them. So quality is 100. 
Now the color space I would use is sRGB. Instagram can display the P3 color space you see here, which is larger than sRGB, but not everyone has a P3 capable device to view our image. If we select sRGB, then the colors are much more likely to be displayed as we intended across all devices. Now, don't limit the file size, so make sure that's unchecked. Now let's move down to image sizing. Make sure you have resize to fit selected, and then select width and height in this dropdown. Now I do have don't enlarge selected, because if it is too small of an image, I don't want to enlarge it in order to upload it to Instagram. Now you may have noticed on Instagram's website, they have 1080 pixels as the widest resolution allowed for an image. So make sure pixels is selected in this width times height dropdown. And then in width, add 1080, and then delete whatever's left in this height box. This will ensure that the image, regardless of the aspect ratio, has a width of 1080 pixels. Resolution doesn't really matter since we're setting up the resolution based off this 1080 pixel width. Now down to output sharpening. Select sharpen four right here and then select screen. And then I usually do a standard amount. This is just gonna control how much sharpening is applied specifically based for screens. High is a little too much. Standard seems to be a good amount for this small of an image. Now you just select export. Now as a bonus, I would highly recommend that you get your image on your mobile device in as few of steps as possible. A lot of uploading sites or apps can actually compress your image, degrading the quality before you even upload it to Instagram. Now, since I'm using a Mac, I would just airdrop my images from my computer to my iPhone. If you use a Google Drive or Dropbox, these do not compress your images, so these are also a good option. Now, from your mobile device, just post your image to Instagram. Now, I do hope that this video was helpful. Remember that Instagram requires a specific aspect ratio. Use JPEG as the file format, and the image size is currently restricted to 1080 pixel width. If you do have any questions or requests for other content, be sure to add them to the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.